hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome to like subscribe share and comment guys today i don't have my glasses <laughs> i keep away i keep away i thought i should try to do this without my glasses because i realize sometimes my glasses reflect things back so i was like let me do this without my glasses so guys if you're new here you're welcome to like subscribe share and comment so today uh topic is exams 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 guys i know it can really really get hectic and it does get tricky but today i'm here to serve the day i'm gonna share with you five exam tips okay not necessarily five but i think you should be able to pick your top five but i'm gonna share my own exam tips and then we're good to go right so exam season is upon us i know a lot of people write their exams in june and really it does get leaked so i'm gonna give you insights on how i think you can better improve your studying skills or whatever the case may be right so step number one establish your type which study type are you right you know from this is my own analysis it's not scientifically proven or from it's not codified like this is me sharing what i've observed right so you need to understand the type you are like study type so basically there's people that prefer rewriting stuff in their own words making summaries that's a and then b there's people that prefer listening to audios right and then three there's people that prefer seeing the scenario right like diagrams part diagrams graphs and all of that right there's people that prefer that so those are the three kinds of people i'm familiar with in terms of study types of people right so i'm a mixture of all of them but i know if i listen to audios i really remember if i listen to audios and like i write for myself i remember the things clearly and better right but i'm a mixture of all of them but i'm not so great with diagrams so i don't usually bother myself with flow charts and diagrams and stuff like that if they're there i'm able to analyze them but it's not something that i would personally do for myself but generally i'd rather listen to audios rewrite for myself and yeah so once you've established your personality type now you know that the more i listen to audio the more i grasp the content right and then also guys uh, in as much as you're not the writing type you will need to have a notepad at least even if it's sticky notes sticky notes with color codes i know other people are good at remembering colors so you know your sticky notes are pink green yellow so maybe you can say for countries like if maybe you have an exam that maybe geography for example right you have an exam that has to do with geography and then you'd know that when you're talking about whether you'd write on green sticky notes so it will remind you and then if you're talking about geomorphology you would write on pink sticky notes and then if you talking about um let's say um geometry you would write on the yellow ones but you like color code them then you remember so some people as opposed to using highlighters they would rather write on sticky notes like categorize it in proper ways like if you're remembering cars you would write it in red and blue or whatever the case may be right you can do that but always have something to write on even though you're not so much of a writer but have stuff to write on and then you'll be able to remind yourself of what you need to remember right and then guys um i know this may seem a bit too much of detail but the room that you study in let there be light like from my own experience if a room is dim dull I i'm just out my energy is, is just zero but if my room is light um even like i think it's advisable if you have a study at home or you, if you have an opportunity to create a study ensure that you have light colors maybe your gray your white even your your stationery it's lively you know it brings life you know don't have like those dim colors because sometimes like it dampens your energy and it dampens your mood and you're like ah, i might as well do this some other time right so you've established the type that you are and then ensure that your room is light right and then also you will need to ensure that uh there's no cluster guys because cluster is also it, you see when you when your table is clustered I, I i i feel like usually when there's a lot of things on my table even in my brain there's some sort of cluster going on and this happens unconscious it's not like i plan i tell my brain to say you know what now there's a lot of things on my table 
mix these things up no sometimes i feel like i get confused because like there's just so much going on around me so ensure that your space is clear and on your study table you have only the things that you need so if you're studying maybe for the, like banking law you have banking law notes if you're studying credit law you have credit law not you know you're not mixing things up unless really if you need to make reference to another module then you can have it right and then now that you've looked your your your, your space is clean and your space is clear ensure that you drink your water guys water is underrated but water will be your fighter guys sometimes people like i'm so tired i need caffeine i'm, I'm a caffeine junkie i love coffee right but uh these times we buy coffee is just like i could literally have two cups of coffee and go to bed you know so i've realized that water does help you know actually it helps keep you a better work and it helps ref like like if you are dehydrated it hydrates you become a bit lively right and also i hate exercising guys but i feel like exercising actually does help you keep alive you know if um you're a person that uh exercises you figure out that you're able to wake up earlier you are able to do things faster you become more efficient so i think exercise normalize exercising and also guys time management i can't stress this enough if you're gonna put in some work don't mix things up like be on your phone you're studying and Mbani was actually talking about something we were having a chat about this video before i started it so i was asking her what you think i should talk about and stuff and she's like yeah please please advise them that this thing of theirs of like when they're studying and they taking videos and like courses chowing no one studies like that guys no one studies like that there's nothing like that just study ma'am your results are going to show that you're studying you know and avoid being distracted and maybe rather use your laptop if you have one as opposed to using your phone to look at slides and notes because it can really get distracting you know like right now there's a message popping on my phone and i'm just like uh what's happening but yeah like it does get destructive so sometimes it's better for you to have your manual copies or copies from a tablet or a laptop then you know that you're just looking at that and then you put your phone away right and guys lastly but not least like repeat you know what Snay? if you finish the syllabus in one week you're ready for the exam don't sit and be like oh no let me chill i'm ready for the exams and stuff like that life doesn't work like that actually and i know people can be like oh no but you can't say that but i'm telling you now you can never prepare enough for an exam that's that like i think you can prepare as far as today before because each time you repeat reading something you get a different revelation literally the more you read something the more it makes sense so the first time you read it you might get one point you read it again you get a second point you read it the third time you get even two more points so it's really imperative that you repeat 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 so in summary i hope you guys had me in summary have a clean space have somewhere to write on you can color code you can write things down, you can do par paragraphs or graphs or flow charts and repeat, like just repeat. And you can listen to audios as well, but just repeat as much as you need to because exam season is upon us. And more than anything, I'm wishing you guys nothing but the best. Don't forget to manage your time wisely. Don't forget to prioritize what's important. At this point in time, if you are a student, your schoolwork is important and other things will come second. If you're working and studying like me, we have a 51-49 equation. So you will decide what's the 51 and what's the 49. But just prioritize, manage your time well, repeat as much as you can, drink your water, understand who you are, understand your capabilities, and don't forget to pray. Like, what would we be without prayer? Nothing. So don't forget to pray, don't forget to study to show yourself approved. Like the word says, study to show yourself approved. And God loves his children to be wise. And also, ask, it shall be given to you. When you pray, ask God, God, please give me the spirit of remembrance. God, please give me wisdom, give me understanding of the content that I'm about to study or to peruse or whatever the case may be. And God does it. Like, guys, I'm not even talking about things I see on TV. I've done this before. There's times where I've been absolutely confused. And then I'm like, oh, actually, 
I remember that I'm, 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 I'm the child of the most high and like, but dad, why would you put me in this situation? Why would you put me in a situation where I, I can't understand what's being said? And I'm like, God, please guide me. Please show me light, you know, and boom, uh -huh, I get light directly or I, I get access to somebody that can assist me because also God doesn't always assist us in ways we want. He, 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 he assists us differently, you know. So anyway, guys, all the best with your exams do the most do the best you can because also remember sometimes it's not about getting a hundred or a 90 it's about putting in the best if 60 is the best version then lovely because what we don't want is for you to put in like mediocre and then you get a 60 and then you're excited knowing very well you could have done better but if you get a 60 and you know you've put in all the hours and stuff like that be happy be proud of yourself because clearly that's what you can do you know because also our abilities are not the same right and so don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share and i'm seeing something we are reaching a thousand soon what do you guys want about like giveaway do you guys want money do you guys want gifts what, what do you guys want give me some light dm me leave a comment tell me what you want what do you want us to do for 1000 subscribers do you want us to just celebrate or do you want us to do a special video? Do you guys have a special request? Like, I'm all yours. What do you guys want us to do for the 1,000 subscribers? Because I'm seeing we are there. We're getting there. Don't forget to tell your friends to tell their friends. Be love. Be kind. Be light.